just back at Bluegrass Bushcraft and today we will be doing an unboxing. Oh, back here at Bluegrass Bushcraft. Lex is back here at Bluegrass Bushcraft. Alrighty. Got a uh, unboxing to do here. Wasn't expecting this. Don't have a clue what's in it. This is all. Uh, got an idea of what's in it, but he didn't tell me it was coming. But uh, anyway, it's from good buddy Terry Skillet 210 up in Canada. So let's get into this and see what we got. At least I'm hoping it's a little birch bark. We've got the fall meat coming up. It could come in handy. That one said it was glass. I was just in a dog kit. Guess he thought it was dog biscuits. Alright, you do the honors? Who, me? Well, who else is out here, goofball? Open it up. Just pack it. Oh, look there. First come out of the box. Wonder who them's for. Me. You. I already sent you a bunch of them. Mm Little maple candy ice cream cones. More of the maple candy. Wait here a minute. You need to send more uh, of these. Well, he sent you a bunch, you little twerp. Thank you. What are you We're supposed to say? What are you supposed to say? Thank you. All right. You don't tell him to send more, you're supposed to thank him. <laughs> Check that out. What's that? Carbon barrel aged maple syrup. That's pretty cool. A little bee bottle. I like it. And there we go. That's what I needed. Terry, I've been meaning to contact you and ask you to send me some of this. But, uh, you already got it, just in time for the fall meat. Well, Terry, I really wasn't expecting this, and, uh, really appreciate it. Lexi? What? Got anything to say? Yeah, she's got her mouth first time I've ever seen her speak, so she's got a mouthful of She can't quit eating it long enough to say anything. Peace out. Let me stop it. All right, y'all have a good day. Okay, bye. All right, Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Lexi back here, Bluegrass <laughs> Bushcraft. Tell them what you're eating. Mm, I'm eating a like, maple it's a maple cone, and it was from uh, Terry. Kobe, what you got? Is that good? Is that good stuff? <laughs> oh, mosquito. Obi's enjoying them too. Yeah, look All at right. the back. Yeah. Got another unboxing here. Yeah. All right. This is a... Uh, been expecting this. This is uh, from my buddy Larry Vickery. 
waiting on this one for a while. cut down into it, I'm afraid I'm going to cut it. What? Alright, did y'all remember a while back ago I done a video on my hammock failure? You should see what else I did. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause this while I read this here just a second. I'm going to put some knots on this one's head and uh, get back with you. Alright, read the letter. Uh, this wasn't the one I was expecting. Uh, did you all know Bill in the Hills makes some hammocks? And he had made one for Larry Vickery a few years ago. And most of the time, Larry uh, uses a bridge hammock because it's easier for him to get in and out of. And uh, he had got Bill's permission to send me that hammock. And uh, anyway, before he did, he backed out for sentimental reasons. He wanted to keep the hammock, and I don't blame him a bit. And I'm really tickled with this. This, this is a nice hammock. And y'all check this out. Larry has sent me a Hennessy hammock. Right. So, uh, I'm gonna pause this again. Let's get out here on the uh, hammock stand out here in the yard. Let's so we can set this up real quick before we lose daylight. But yeah, you're still pretty. <laughs> right. He is going to put the um the new thing he got um uh, the ham the other hammock up. So this is how he does it. And right now, I'm sitting on my trampoline and I will be recording. So, yeah. I will. This is like hooked to our strand, like the bar on the trampoline. So I can go and move and stuff. But right now, I'm just sitting up here. He's just trying to get it set up right now. I will be doing uh, stuff. So I will be getting down right now. to make sure it's straight. I forgot I can't jump on here.
He's getting there. He's trying his best. That is a really um, good um, uh, thingy. I forgot what it's called. Look up there. There's that. They're over there. <laughs> LOL. If you hear like crying and stuff, it is my little brother. Because he wants to come out in the yard with us, but he can't. He's you see his head right there. Well, she just moved in front of him. So now I can't see him. Memo, move. We can see you in the camera. He was right there, but I don't know where he went. LOL, I think he's right on the, he's on the swing. But we, you guys can be focusing on this, but like, yeah. My uh, hammock stand here in the yard is not quite long and high enough to get it high enough off the ground to try this out tonight. So uh, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow and get down in the woods and get this in a tree. How do you uh, put this up? Well, I can't get it high. It's too, high, too low to the ground right now. I have to get it higher up. Oh. This is The stand's not high enough. How do you get in it? Over there. If you get in it now, you'll be laying on that bar. I can't get it off the ground. Oh, yeah, you will, babe. All right, we'll have to continue this video tomorrow. What happens if it rains, though? Like, I'm taking it down. I'm not leaving it out. I know, but there's, like, little lines. Like, if it's raining and you're camping, it might, the rain might fall down. And well, it, uh, that's why we use a tarp. <laughs> All right. Catch you all tomorrow.